Okay, uh, in today's session, I will be telling you how to prepare an internship report effectively and this is a sample report and I will be telling you process by process like uh, how the internship report should be prepared, what should be it, it uh, format, the size, the paper size, etc, etc and many more. So this is a, a sample report of uh, Rashtriya Varje Bank internship report. So let's move on. First of all, what you need to know about the first thing first is about the page layout. In the page layout section, you have to go to the page setup and you have to know that the margin should be on the top, it should be 1 inches, bottom 1 inches, right side 1 inches, and on the left side it should be 1 inches. So all this done, okay, then press okay. Similarly, you should also go to the paper size. Always, you need to know that paper size should be always A4. Most of the time, the paper size will be later by default, but you need to change it into the A4 size to make it appropriate for the internship report. So, all done. Size, okay. Paper, okay. Now, we move on. Okay. Now, <clears throat> most of the students, they try to um, get confused. Like, what to write in the first page. Like, most of the students, someone are writing chapter 1, some are writing uh, chapter 1, some are writing chapter O and E1. So this is not the way. You should always be conscious that you should only write chapter 1 that is on the by Roman side. Now after writing the chapter 1, what you need to uh, do means you need to see whether it is double space or not between the chapter 1 and introduction. So you see between the chapter 1 and introduction, it is, the line spacing should not be always single, it should not be 1.5 inches it should be always double so here we have done double likewise in the introduction section as well you should need to go to the paragraph paragraph and you need to see that line spacing should be always double so all done double double it's okay now you need to understand that the chapter one it should have the font size 18 and the second one introduction should have the font size 14 and the subtitle that is background and other should be have the font size 12 the difference between the text below here and the text above here is the background or subtopic should have a bold um, it should be made bold uh, while the uh, other text can be uh, simply uh, unbolded so here we move on to the internship report now what to write in the background uh, background section the background section is not about writing what is bank or what is uh, how uh, was your experience in the internship group. You need to tell about what is really actually in the internship. You can begin like internship is the process of working in an assistant to give like it is a device by uh, TUBBA University with 120 credit hours in Nepal so and so and internship and opportunity and so and so and furthermore you need to <coughs> continue by saying where you did the internship like here. This guy has done mistake like he, he previously I wrote I uh, did my internship. Always you need to know that the while writing doing uh, uh, writing an internship report you should always write in, it in the third person. Never use the word like I, we, you. You should be using the third person language that right? that is like the internee uh, did he did internship in the Rashtriya Bank Bank or the report was prepared by the internee and so and so. Never use the word I. Um, and my and so on now after moving to this section now let's move to the section that is objective of the study like most of the students they are confused like what to write in this objective of study section remember that objective of study is uh, section is broken into two sections that is general objective and specific objective the general objective of many of the report may be same like one person may he have he may have done internship in Rashtriya Bank Limited. One person he may have done in, in, his internship in Nepal Bank Limited. But the general objective can be same. Like the general objective uh, of uh, of the study is to get practical insight of general banking of Rashtriya Bank Limited. Or it could be general objective to get practical insight of general banking of Nepal Bank Limited. It could be same for every report. But however, you need to understand that the specific objective of each report is different from the other report. Like in this section, this guy he has done uh, his internship in the loan department, uh, remittance department, and customer service department. So I have devised 
his uh, general specific object into three parts that is loan procedure of rash tabarin jibang inward remittance and outward remittance of rash tabarin jibang and to help customer in opening own filling voucher actually to in customer service department of rash tabarin jibang so by uh, um, so by breaking down uh, your uh, specific object objective into the department you have work also we can devise the specific objective however suppose if you have done internship in only in the uh, loan department of uh, abc bank so how uh, we can devise his specific objective then you can break down his work like to know about the loan processing of processing of rashtriya branch bank to know about about the loan balance in the rashtriya branch bank and to know about the customer inquiry of loan in the rashtriya branch bank so in this way also you can devise the specific objective if you have done work in only a singular department now moving towards the rational of study all confused if any confusion you can just email me uh, now rational of the study what is rational of the study the rational of study is actually the significance of the study why this study is significant why this intern in, in, internship report is significant so you can begin uh, by writing a paragraph or uh, a paragraph or two by saying like uh, the internship report is so and so and, and it is useful in the so and so way like it provides us practical insight by doing internship we get so many uh, uh chances to implement our theoretical knowledge into the practical form and so and so so by um, looking at the rational study you can just need to write the significance of study as well uh, many of the students they, they are confused and they write the rational study into the into the bullet point wise or in the number wise don't confuse you should write in the paragraph way like uh, previously this guy he had wrote in the bullet form and now i told him and he has um, made it into a paragraph form um so now scope of study the scope of study deals with like what is the area of this of this internship report that it will constitute and what the, is the area of the study that the study will not try to incorporate like you are just writing a internship report of rashtriya banije bank of certain department only you cannot write the whole report like our uh, um, like the working procedure of uh, of rashtriya banije bank of nepal the rashtriya banije bank uh, of whole country and so on you are just um, uh, limiting your scope to the rashtriya banije bank of certain uh, branches say sanotimi branch so you should be always uh, conscious about what is the scope of study what is the area that this internship report will cover what is the area that the internship report will not cover like for this example this guy here he has done internship in rashtriya banije bank of sanotimi department um, and he has worked in the loan department remittance and csd so now his study will be limited to only certain things of the loans like uh, he was here he work in the loan department in the loan processing section he may not have done work like in loan balance evaluation collateral service and etc so this should not be the scope of his study so he should also try like my study it deals with the loan processing of rashtriya banije bank but the study does not include the collateral um, evaluation section he can also write like um, my study deals with the csd department of rashtriya banije bank where i was involved in opening and closing accounts but my study does not incorporate the the deposit and withdraw the cash so this could be his scope of study out of this scope of study so this also should be included in this thing sir now the methodology section the methodology section is generally is about the how the report is prepared by using the both the primary sources and secondary sources of data like most of the you while preparing this report you must have been uh, deriving your data uh, from the say, secondary sources like website of the company website of the bank website uh, of the rashtriya banije bank website of some um, uh, of magazine website of some new, newspaper and so and so and you may also be referring to some textbook uh textbook like uh, to get the definition of bank to get the uh, um, uh, 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 to get some knowledge uh, for preparation of report so if you are uh, using those sources like from the book from the website which has al al already been published uh, by the concern authority then these are known as the secondary sources of data so you should also write about the secondary sources of data and the primary source of data are the sources of data where you was really include where the data was virgin where you was in, your, yourself involved in data derivation and you uh, you constantly focus and you derive the data from yourself then that is the primary source of data now the primary source of data in this uh, uh, could be like from interviews from general discussions 
uh, and so and so. Like this guy, he has uh, uh, wrote about the methodology, but uh, I will not say that he has written properly. I will have to make make a comment that this guy he has um, need to write more because he has uh, reduced to more. One para secondary, one para primary source. He should write about this thing. Like first thing, he should write on on the one para ka, he need to write about what is methodology, definition of methodology, what is methodology. And one paragraph, he should write about secondary source of data. One paragraph, he should write about primary source of data. So in this way, he can uh, make this methodology section in a good way. And organization selection, how he went to this organization selection. Like just you can just into a paragraph like there are 22 banks in Nepal, uh, 22 commercial banks in Nepal and out of these banks uh, there were many um, things like I went to this commercial bank, I went to this head office and deposited my uh, CB and so and so and in this way I got report. You can just uh, make it a short and sweet thing. Now duration. Uh, now this guy he has included a duration in this thing but uh, I recommend uh, just to include some kind of uh, include. Gantt chart so it can be shown clearly this is it's okay but I would like to refer uh, if he has included a Gantt chart showing like help breaks for three weeks continuously and loan department three weeks after that reload remittance mobile banking after one week after the completion of six weeks and finally ECC after the completion of seven weeks and this also he has written is opposite because this should be in the top Activities done in the organization in the short form you can write like this guy he has worked in help department what he has done loan it's okay remittance electronic check clearing it's okay now limitation of the study limitation of the study uh, is the th major things that you need to consider like limitation of study many of the uh, of the guys uh, and many students are writing uh, limitation of study like um, uh, due to lack of time uh, due to money and so and so but these are not the limitation of it the limitation of study is about the limitation of this report what this rep uh, report co covers and what this reports does not cover like you can write the limitation of study is about uh, certain factors uh, like uh, um, like certain factors only you are not doing the internship report on the whole bank as you are focused in specific area like uh, CSD loan department only so this could and the other thing this guy he has written is you can include one paragraph in this way but the second paragraph you can list point out like point wise I, I need to you need to write this point wise point wise like number one point number two point what is that number three number four number five at least you need to write five limitation so this should be in this way you can write limitation so up to this, uh, I think this will provide a general overview about how to write an internship report to chapter 1. And after we have completed this uh, chapter 1 session uh, by looking at these videos, uh, don't forget to show me and um, after that we will move to the chapter 2 section. Thank you very much. Have a good day.